That was just an exclamation point. So now pitch number one to Tavian Josenberger to lead things off for Arkansas. Strike three called on a one-two pitch. The fastball retires Diggs, two gone. Ganther trying to sit him down, one, two, three. Got him on a fastball away. I get hit off the bricks to the left of the line. This one will be in play. One, two pitch, line to left. Diaz about halfway and puts on the break. So one out single for the Commodores. Put some crooked numbers up. One, two, Shrek hits this one hard. Right center field, Josenberger, warning track, got to it. Diaz gonna have to hustle to get back to first and he's doubled off. Davis Diaz is on the other side of second base. Another payoff pitch from Genther to Borfin. Swung on and missed. Three straight Ks recorded by Genther. One out. Kelly is ready to throw the bat away. Outside for ball four, and the Razorbacks have their first man aboard here in the second. Back in game one. Opposite way, drops a single into left. Arkansas getting things rolling here in the second. A walk and now a single to, by, by Slavens. And I thought that was that was the nail in the coffin, I thought, yep. you know, for Vandy, but able to come back. Can they get two? Fast time. Throw is wide of Austin. Arkansas instead will get a run. Everybody's safe. Fielding miscues have cost Vanderbilt in this series and one here in the second inning. Gives the Razorbacks an early lead. So there, Harold Cole getting the start. Fly ball may get another run home. Shrek comes over to make the catch. Runner tagging from third. The throw not in time. Slavin slides in safely. It's 2-0 Arkansas. Ginther trying to limit the damage here in the second. Swing and a miss to retire the side. Two more strikeouts for Ginther in the inning. Seniors recognized throughout the weekend. Over second base and into right field for a one-out single for the Commodore first baseman. You got to think into the year and on probably trying to get this thing in. Hugging the third baseline and down into the left field corner off the bat of R.J. Austin. Tim Corbin puts on the stop sign for Nolan and Vanderbilt in business in the second with one out. Two in scoring position. Double for Austin. Leneve, big three-run blast. First homer of the season. And everything for this Vanderbilt team. And they have the second again. one of the season. Deep left field again. Wow. And gone. Another three-run shot for Leneve. And Vanderbilt again takes the lead. Wow. Pretty much exact same spot, too. Fastball in the outside corner. Last night it was the first pitch. This time second pitch, and he got all of it. Goodness gracious. Early in the count, getting that pitch and launching it out of here. How about number 19? Goodness gracious, take a look. Another fastball elevated, definitely not where Holland wants that pitch. But, I mean, he, he does some damage opposite field. There's not a lot of guys that can hit a, that far opposite field. He's just a strong guy, lets the ball get deep, puts good swing on it. And another base hit for Vanderbilt. It's T.J. McKenzie down the left field line. Four consecutive knocks for the Commodores, three for extra bases. The Vanderbilt bats coming to life in the second. All-American Bradfield. One ball count. Check swing back to the mound. Holland dropped it. Bradfield. Legs it out, and the inning continues. Looked like it was going to be an easy chance. Payoff number two. Got him swinging. Foul tip into the mid. Holland gets him with a fastball, and Vanderbilt is done in the second. Three runs, four hits, one error, and two left. Troy Leneve does it again. Commodore's in front, three to two after two. They're coming out of their shoes. Way inside for ball four. Second walk issued by Genther. Leadoff man on for Arkansas in the third. And that just got a piece of dig. So the first two have reached 331 with a dozen homers and 44 knocked in. Through that, past him. Rocket toward Bradfield in center. He broke back. He comes on. He got another one. Does it all. Fly ball toward Shrek, chases him back toward the warning track. Still on the move, chases it down, inning over. R.J. Shrek at the plate and the Shrek masks in the stands and he delivers with a single to right. A roller past Holt. Vanderbilt has the leadoff man on here in the third. Vanderbilt up by a run and leadoff man on, but by Bulger, it's a fair ball. 
Gunned down to first by Roland. Bulger on the first pitch does the job. He gets Shrax to second with one out. Corpse likes to be in the middle of things. He strikes out Nolan for a big second out as Shrek remains at second base with two gone. He actually let uh, Josh Holliday, assistant coach, do the job. Off the glove of Callie, two out damage as R.J. Austin makes it a 4-2 game. Number 42 delivering a single to bring home R.J. Shrek. Doing the job against the Razorbacks. Slaps one the opposite way. Another base hit for Laneve. Austin was on the move. He goes first to third. They're at the corners with two outs. See there, TJ's brother, Tristan, or the Cleveland organization. Add on strikes. Good job at McIntyre to leave runners at first and third. Walked off the field, but unable to continue. Smash back up the middle. That hit streak continues for Holt. Up to a half dozen games with a one-out single in the fourth. Right at Diaz, hard hit ball from Cole. Davis makes a nice play, two gone. The tendency of it being in this spot rather than this spot. Chance for Vastine, the flip to Austin, he finds the bag and they get the out. Nicely done. Slap toward left, gonna drop in for a base hit. Vastine starts the fourth with a single. On the move, Vastine, solid throw, and he's out at second. One and two to Diaz, able to stay alive with a foul tip. But not this, this time, chases a pitch away. Complete the strikeout of Vanderbilt's done in the fourth. You go to a game like today, with the Commodores really trying to get some momentum, you're gonna go with guys that they can trust are gonna put the ball in play. Uh, Tavian Josenberger says welcome to the game with a line drive single. Does a really good job just spraying it all over the park. Runner on the move on a 1-1 pitch. Throw is wide, and Josenberger is in safe. Now a payoff pitch coming up to Diggs, the DH. Gets past Nolan, and Arkansas going to get a run closer. RBI single for Diggs to bring home Josenberger. It's 4-3. Played last season in Fayetteville. Vanderbilt won two out of three. Long drive left field. McKenzie watches, and it's off the fence. It's a double to put runners at second and third as Wagner goes to the gap. And Arkansas, the good chance here to go back to the front in the fifth inning. In the SEC, especially the last half here for the Commodores. That was a big out as Schultz fans Borfin. Feels like a top 10, top 15 squad every weekend. Smash back up the middle. Austin gets to it. The play to first in time, but Arkansas ties the game. R.J. Austin, a terrific play to get Caleb Cowley at first. Power source for this Arkansas program last couple seasons. R.J. can't get that one. Slavin's an RBI single to give Arkansas the lead for the second time today. A three-run fifth. Slavin's on the move. Pitch is high, and he is safe at second with a steal. Go ahead and count on that. Gets past Bastine. Holt does it again. RBI single, four run fifth for Arkansas. They lead it six to four. Another runner on the move. Nice scoop by Austin, safe at second. Close play, Holt is in there. Out in front, threw him the breaking pitch. Cole out on strikes. Good count here for RJ, it's ball four, leadoff man aboard for the Commodores against Will McIntyre. You know, a good combination of guys that put the ball in play and then outfielders that can run it down. McIntyre stays with it, throws out Nolan at first. Well, he's been going. Out to short, may not happen in this inning. Cole throws out Austin and Vanderbilt's done in the fifth. And really with, with nothing to lose. Diggs opposite way, another chance for Diaz. One, two, three inning for David Horn. Though has been few and far between for Vanderbilt today. Plugged in here a couple times in SEC play and doing some good work, including a single with one out. Other way for Vastine, his second hit of the afternoon. McKenzie, first to third. Vastine among the SEC leaders in doubles. Hands on another one. Two in scoring position with one out. And 
A ball called will result in a run for Vanderbilt. McKenzie comes in to score. Second place umpire, Ronnie T calling balk. Take a look here. Yeah, it looked like he picked up that right foot to make a motion. Vastine leads from third. One, two coming up to Bradfield from Coyle. That'll get it done. Bouncer left side. Calls throw, not in time. Bradfield safe. Tie game at six as Vastine comes home. RBI infield hit for Enrique. To get back even, Davis Diaz with Bradfield on the move. Safe at second as the ball went off the mitt. Over the last 20 years, boy. That is wow. Impressive. Tough spot here in the sixth. Misses high for ball four, two on board for R.J. Shrek. It is a grind, though. I mean, it is is tough. Takes off for third. Shrek squares the bunt, safe again. Payoff with one out. Boy, Diaz was leaning up. I think they're going to call another balk. Wow. So Vanderbilt with two runs on balks in this inning to go to the front, seven to six. Yeah, that was a, that was a good balk move. You saw, yeah, you saw Andre Shrek saying he moved that front leg. High fly ball to center field for Josenberger. He waits and catches. Diaz will stay put. Hit hard, but right at the second baseman, Holt to a knee, and Vanderbilt's sixth inning comes to a close. Three ball, one strike count to Jared Wagner. Ball four, and there's even more foul territory there than I think there is in Hoover. Off the glove, a Parker Nolan can't find it. Austin, Colt trying to do some two out damage. Again, Arkansas back even, the freshman wins the battle. Big pitch by David Horn to strand two base runners. I mean, this game feels, they take more than that. Leneve out on strikes. Razorbacks have stranded seven base runners today. They've been able to get them on board, and the hit batsman will mean a leadoff base runner here in the eighth. Hitters count here for the pinch hitter, McLaughlin. Runner on the move. He takes ball four. Runners at first and second. It's been an exciting game. Josenberger. Bunted foul, two and two. Called third strike. Grayson Moore makes a pitch. Long drive left field, chases McKenzie back, not too deep, makes the catch. Everybody stays where they are. A walk in the seventh, one for three. Big bouncer, Austin has to wait a long time. Quick throw to first in time. Great work by Grayson Carter to get a bounce out from Wagner. Try to get to the finish line, payoff. Close, but ball four. Fast tie to first, it's a double play. McKenzie sort of hung out to dry, not much he could do right there. Slave has made the catch and tapped the bag, two gone. Bradfield, big bouncer, Slavin's direction again to the base to retire Bradfield. Might have been his final regular season A-B at Hawkins Field. I gotta think. One and one. Parents number 65. Two, two, Aldonado and two and two. 2-2, pitch number eight of the at-bat. Another 2-2 delivery. Payoff. Got him swinging. Wow. It was a fastball. It looked, it looked like a changeup with how much it moved. You usually don't see the uh, the arm side movement as much from, from Maldonado, but dang, the heck of a pitch. A lot of capable hitters with power in this Arkansas lineup. Now three and two to Callie. Back up the middle. Austin gets a piece of it. But Arkansas has the tying man on base with a single by Callie with one out. One of the guys you want at the plate if you're Arkansas, Brady Slavens, a lot of power. Out of 16. Bouncer could be two. Austin to Vastine to Noland. And the Commodores win the series. A 4-6-3 double play wraps it up. Vanderbilt wins 7-6. to six. Wow.